in this video, I'm gonna be going through using chicken manure as fertilizer. And stay tuned till the end because I'll go through how to age chicken manure. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So using chicken manure as fertilizer is a common practice for most rural gardeners. On the other hand, most chicken keepers also dream of a big backyard garden. Garden and chickens go hand in hand. It's a great idea to marry the two hobbies together whenever possible. Not only is it mutually beneficial for plants and animals, but it's also better for you, your soil's health, and the longevity of your homestead. Now, learning how to close the loops does a world of good for everyone involved. With that said, there is a bit of a learning curve in turning chicken manure into usable fertilizer. So let's go ahead and get into that. Chicken manure is a remarkably potent form of fertilizer. It's exceptional. Nitrogen and phosphorus content easily outpaces that found in manures from other animals like cattle. Not only does chicken guano consist of feces, but also an array of other substances swept during the cleaning process. Urine, feathers, broken eggs, chicken feed waste, and coop bedding materials like straw, wood shavings, and hay also make up most chicken manure piles. Each of these added ingredients is natural and beneficial in diverse ways. So it's not an issue for them to go into your compost pile and then into your yard or garden. Every wheelbarrow of chicken manure is intrinsically unique as well. The chicken's diet, age, health, and mental well-being all play roles in the manure produced. Chicken manure is a natural fertilizer that provides more than just macronutrients and micronutrients. It adds organic matter to the soil, which improves its structure, optimizes the soil's moisture, holding capacity, drainage capability, and aeration levels, and even reduces erosion risks while retaining key nutrients better. The addition of chicken manure also enriches essential microbiotic activity within the soil. It allows for quicker availability of vital plant nutrition. And let's go ahead and talk about how chicken manure as a fertilizer is perfect for no-till or no-dig gardening. So rather than disturbing the soil, no-till gardening embraces the art of leaving it untouched. This method is also referred to as no-dig, and it can includes only cutting off plants at the root line using pruning scissors and or a hand saw instead of pulling them out with tools like plows, spades, and hoes. This practice, which is rapidly regaining traction in the U.S., allows gardeners to reap all the benefits that come from working in harmony with nature. Now, let's go ahead and go through the short history of no-till gardening. For thousands of years before colonization, no-till gardening was the only gardening method in North America. In a no-till world, the fertility of the soil is maintained without requiring deep mixing. An ecosystem like an untouched meadow or forest floor provides us with glimpses into this type of cycle in action. So here we see plant material rise and fall naturally to contribute mulch, nutrients, and biomass while leaving behind vital roots. Organic soil is akin to its own little ecosystem where beneficial microorganisms work together and create a thriving environment for plants. Not only can it provide nutrients without the need for chemical fertilizers, studies have shown worms can even detoxify polluted soil. On top of that, these organic soils are proven more resilient against threats like pests and drought when compared to conventionally tilled gardens. Despite being a long-standing practice, Practice, traditional tilling of soil on commercial farms can have adverse environmental effects. It reduces water retention capabilities and leads to more runoff from large-scale fields. However, it also fosters the release of fertilizers and pesticides into our own drinking water sources as well as oceans. This results in dangerous and unstable algae blooms, dead zones, and other harmful consequences for all ecosystems involved. So how does this method of gardening work with chicken manure? After you've successfully aged your chicken manure, you simply toss it atop your garden and let just the way the manure is designed do its job. By not turning over the soil, you allow the living organic soil to maintain its sophisticated soil food web without disruption. In turn, you get much healthier soil that produces significantly better vegetables, even when you have otherwise difficult weather and pest season. So I also just mentioned aging chicken manure. So let's go ahead and walk through how to do that. But before I do that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, so let's talk about how to age chicken manure. While minimal quantities of fresh chicken waste are not harmful to your garden, larger amounts are. The best way to protect your garden and plants inside it from dangerous pathogens and burning is to age your chicken manure before adding it to your garden or lawn. First way to age it is hot composting chicken manure. All it takes to age chicken poop is a compost pile with temperatures reaching between 140 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This is not difficult 
difficult to get to. When the pile exceeds 130 degrees Fahrenheit, harmful bacteria like E. coli are killed off and the compost becomes much safer to use. Turn the pile weekly to allow oxygen in while keeping out excess moisture that would otherwise be introduced by rain, excessive humidity, or snowfall. After five to six weeks have passed, what will remain are beneficial nutrients released over time into your garden beds instead of hazardous germs lingering in its soil. Now let's talk about cold composting chicken manure. Cold composting chicken manure is an excellent way to create garden ready nutrients without a whole lot of fuss or effort on your behalf. The process is easy and low maintenance, but it takes longer to complete. Just make a pile of chicken manure, let it age and wait. You can use cold compost manure after six months, but it is definitely much better practice to wait a year. At the 12 month mark, your chances of burning your plants with too high nitrogen or introducing bacteria like E. coli or salmonella dramatically drop. As you can imagine, I strongly recommend waiting a year before using cold compost chicken manure as fertilizer. The next option is the deep litter method. If you have long winter seasons, the deep litter method is a great way to get a head start on composting your chicken manure. If you're actually interested on the deep litter method, we've actually written an article on it and we'll do a video on it soon. But here are just some quick takeaways from it. The deep litter method. It's an easy, lower effort cleaning system for coops and barns. It reduces unpleasant smells, warms the area in cold climates, encourages a diverse population of cultures and microbes, and produces nutrient-dense compost. A quick note, improper management could lead to sick birds due to mold, ammonia, dampness, or parasites. It is relatively easy to manage though. The deep litter method requires four main ingredients. Carbon includes brown materials, nitrogen, green materials, water, and oxygen. Ventilation should be provided for your chickens in their coop without creating unnecessary drafts. To clean a coop using this method, all but one wheelbarrow of litter should be removed and cleaned before reintroducing it in the fall. This allows the beneficial microbes to survive and assist you well into the next season and year after year. Now let's talk about when to add chicken manure to the garden. If you wanna give your crops a healthy natural boost with composted aged manure, be sure to get it into the soil at the right time. Vegetables that do not touch the soil like tomatoes and beans can be fed aged manure 90 days prior to harvest date. Root vegetables, leafy greens, and vegetables that do come in contact with the soil will need a longer window. For these plants, wait until 120 days before the harvest date to add the manure. This ensures that your produce is safe and not contaminated. If you don't feel like doing the math for this, add the manure at the end of your growing season, late fall or early winter for a more diluted feeding or late winter to early spring for a more concentrated burst of fertilizer. Now let's talk about how much chicken manure should you put on the garden. You should add about 45 pounds of aged manure to every 100 square feet of the garden. That is approximately a half wheelbarrow load of every 10 by 10 section of the garden. A wheelbarrow conversion table is especially helpful when you're planning on your garden and I can go ahead and show you that right here. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out this one over here. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. And with that, I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.